Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Friday, June the 8th, 2012 with a gold, silver, and stock forecast. Uh, this is an after-market report. And uh, gold was up slightly today, about um, almost uh, two-tenths of a percent here. And uh, on light volume, though, and uh, a couple of bullish things are going on here. Uh, we made a bottom here at uh, 148.53, just slightly undercutting the 148.60 we made in mid-May. And then we rallied up strongly, had a big gap up here, and got uh, up above this line here, which is the 50-day moving average. Uh, we didn't get a close above it. We did pierce through that. We got up here to the upper trend line that has been in place uh, pretty much since March and uh, got a, 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 a well-anticipated uh, pullback after touching that line. Got a little bit above it, actually and uh, pull back here. Now, we uh, uh, got a bounce uh, yesterday and today up off of this red line, which is the 21-day moving average, and we closed above this light gray line here, which is now hooked up to the upside, the 10-day moving average. So on a shorter-term basis, we are in an uptrend, and um, we are closing above some key short-term moving averages here, the 21 and the 10-day. So um, <clears throat> we're still in a longer term downtrend here, but things are looking more positive uh, uh, in, in the gold here. Of course, we do uh, uh, have to get above the major moving averages here, the 50, the 100, and the 200, which we are below. But uh, you know, some constructive things happening uh, with uh, the, uh, the gold. And here is the silver, uh, down about a quarter of a percent. This is the SLV, the silver ETF. And uh, silver actually looking a little bit better than gold. And that's a switch. Um, it had been looking a, a lot weaker for quite some time. But um, uh, you notice here that uh, we had a strong rally up off the bottom here. And um, uh, we almost got here to the 50-day moving average. And um, uh, we're well above this channel line that was forming here uh, as well. And uh, we've got a nice, you can kind of feel a little cup-shaped pattern coming in here. Um, if you draw a line along these lows, you can see kind of a point of, uh, of um, I don't know, a, a battle line being drawn here. And uh, so far, traders are respecting this sort of 45-degree uptrend. If you draw an imaginary line up here, we got about a 45-degree uptrend. And there is definitely some kind of momentum uh, happening here in the silver to the upside. And uh, again, like gold, we trade, we closed uh, here above the 21-day moving average, this red line, and above the 10-day moving average, which is now hooked to the upside. Uh, so this is a major change that has not happened since uh, uh, the markets topped here in late February, early March. So uh, turnaround possibly happening, short-term uptrend, still in a long-term downtrend here. Um, uh, the 50-day has crossed underneath the 100-day. Uh, and is still pointed to the downside. Uh, you can see the 10-day hooking up. You can see the 21-day starting to flatten out and possibly going to turn to the upside. So bringing more momentum into these markets. Speaking of momentum, let's scroll down here and, and take a look at these momentum indicators. Uh, we see that we had a cross here uh, in um, late May. Uh, the slower moving average on the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence indicator, is an indicator a lot of traders follow, it has moved to the upside significantly. You can see that it's widening. That means that there's momentum uh, to the upside here in this indicator. And we can kind of feel this rounding sort of uh, action here in it. So this is very bullish for us. Now you'll notice that the stochastics, which is more of a, a shorter term uh, uh, momentum indicator, shows a lot of momentum to the upside. Of course, we did get up here to 80, which is typically an overbought area. Um, and uh, hence, we got that little bit of a pullback here. Uh, but that's pretty normal. And uh, we're back into uh, being not overbought again, which is great. So um, uh, I would ex expect, uh, if we're going to run higher, that we come down and this starts to, to move higher as well. Uh, so uh, all the momentum indicators are, are in our favor here. Moving on to stocks now, this is the NASDAQ Composite Index, and uh, we were up almost 1% today. And bouncing here off of the 10-day moving average, this gray line here, and um, uh, getting above and closing above the all-important 21-day moving average. And you can see that that is starting to flatten out as well as the 10-day uh, moving average here. 
um, up ahead is a convergence of the 50-day line, which is the blue line, and the 100-day moving average line, which is the green dotted line. The 50-day is going to cross underneath the 100. That's been anticipated in the market. It's already factored in. But uh, we did have an update on light volume. Uh, we are still in a short-term downtrend. Uh, as soon as we take out two, uh, 288283, if we take that out to the upside, uh, then uh, I will call this uh, in a short-term uptrend. But still in a downtrend here uh, on the NASDAQ, um, but uh, had a nice rally up off the bottom. Not enough to confirm us into a new rally, however. Looking at the down now, we're up about three quarters of a percent today on a pickup in volume. So money flowing into the mega cap stocks, the mega international stocks here. Um, perhaps these will lead the next rally if we get one after this leg. But uh, so far, no confirmation yet. We had a big update here on Wednesday. Um, but uh, it was too early in the count up off the bottom to really confirm us into a new rally. Uh, we need to be uh, on about the uh, a third or fourth day of a rally attempt in order to really get this going here. Uh, so, um, uh, and certainly taking out uh, uh, 12,611.61 uh, to the upside will put us back into a um, short term uptrend here. Um, but uh, we are down below key moving averages, the 50 day here, uh, crossing the 100. And, uh, but we are above the shorter term moving average of the 21 and the 10 day moving average. So, um, you know, I'm just noticing the trend of, of some momentum coming back into the markets to the upside. Is this just a little bit of a leg of bounce up off the bottom? It's going to stall out. We don't know. I do like the increase in pickup and volume two days in a row. Two days of increasing of volume accumulation here uh, in heavy volume on the Dow. So this is the strongest of the indicators that I've seen. And here is the broader S&P 500, fourth update in a row, uh, coming on light volume here on Friday. And, um, uh, you know, getting a bounce here off of the 200-day moving average and rallying higher for higher closes. A good week for the S&P 500. Uh, just shy again of this previous peak here at 133.93. Um, certainly taking out that will put us back into a short-term uptrend below the key moving averages. Uh, you know, the 50 gun across the 100. Uh, so a lot of these indexes are looking very similar. Uh, once again, the Dow looking the strongest. So just to recap, the gold and the silver putting in nice, uh, nice uh, legs to the upside here. Um, you know, possibly getting a change in the direction of the markets um, uh, in, in that department. And also for stocks, nice leg up. Pretty good week for, for uh, stocks and metals, perhaps anticipating uh, some easing, some more monetary um, money printing uh, flowing into the markets to help stimulate them, uh, thus uh, fueling higher prices. So thanks for listening. Have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you soon.